Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. Here we are in these catacombs that I can't remember the name. Does it say on my map? The Stormfoot Catacombs. Fantastic. Oh, look, it actually shows the guidance right on the map. How nice is that? How big is this map? <laughs> anyway, we are probably in a place that we shouldn't be. Uh, full of imps that are causing blood buildup, and I just found a new summon, which is great, except I still cannot use it. I don't know if the item to summon it is just out of reach, if I need to actually purchase it. But, sitting on a healthy little chunk of runes here, and I think we're going to explore just a little bit more before we uh, admit defeat here. And, let's go, 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 go. Oh, and is this actually it? Prattling Pate. Okay, hold on, hold on. Pate as in paint from Dark Souls 2, or is that pate? But there's no accent mark. It looks like a carving stone. Is that what that is? Let's put that on the old hotbar, see if we can in fact use it. We can. It emits a voice that says hello. It's a twisted clay sculpt in the shape of a human head, a wistful fetish that imparts voice and words on an eternal journey. Well, let's... What, what does it sound like? Is it, is it goth? Is it Hawkeye? <laughs> it's not. It's better. And hitting them knocks down that. I don't know if that's permanent or not, so let's just run, 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 run. I can't imagine this is the... In no, this can't be the entirety of the catacombs. Because we still have that door that was locked by a contraption. You're still... Oh. Back up. I was trying to get him with a thrust. Oh, nice dodge. Yeah, of course, you just want to go ahead and throw your dagger at me. Right. Um, hmm. What else can I do then? Door locked by contraption. Well, that was it. Wait, that, that cannot be it. That cannot be it. What did I miss? I missed a turn. Hold on. Let's, let's figure this out. I could drop down and get that one plant, but I don't think I absolutely need to. No left or right turns here. Oh, let's get the torch out, right, for that ambiance. All right. Um, hmm. I wonder if I should try to light him on fire. Actually, slightly better than my short sword, I believe. I turn left there. Down here, there was nothing. And then turning left... There's the ladder. No rooms here. That might be everything I can do here, and I don't know why. Well, let's just go up. We'll hop down and see if there's any other paths to take. It looks like maybe we've cleared this as best we can now. Before we hop down, let's just check this room one more time, especially now that we have our light out. Huh. Either I'm missing something blatantly obvious, or I need to come back to Stormfoot Caverns. Also, complete way... Oh, I kind of wish I was right. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Looks like we can open that door after all. Oh, back up, back up. And I want to catch him with that. I want to catch him with a nice charge. Oh, you're being pain. All right, you just fall. There we go. So we'll pull the lever. Oh, good. A nice ominous skeleton uh, is waiting for me. And where is... Oh, that's not... Take unnecessary damage here. Another fork hatchet. Great. That's going to be really useful to me in at least three levels. And I don't even know how yet to l level. Um, That's a... That's a fog right there. <laughs> uh, a mist. Excuse me. That's a mist. Um, let's go. What? Erdtree Burial Watchdog. With a flaming tail. That looks more like a cat, if I'm being honest. Okay. It walks like a person. What kind of... Eh. Um. <gasps> okay. Maybe I should say hello? 
Um, just kind of floats randomly. That's weird. And definitely an a Oh! I'm out of FP! Um, no, move! Okay. That's alright. It might be okay. You know, until we get to phase two or three or however many it decides to have. Oh, what is this? Actually, I kind of think that might be a nice opportunity to get burnt. I was right. Just stay to stay a distance if you can. Just keep running. Oh, you can knock down the pillars. That's neat. Heads up, heads up. Oh boy, that was that was close. About half. All right. This is this is not terrible, but not great either. Run away. How far does that flame go? Not that far. Oh no, I'm out. Okay. Switch, switch. Let's get some two-handed going. Um, hmm. I can't heal. Can't really do much of anything. Ah, that's all right. We can get that fight. We can get the Earth Tree. The Earth Tree Burial Watchdog. Especially because I think I should be able to just rush it. Right? Right, right, right? Yeah, I don't even have to worry about any enemies. That's fantastic. Oh, come on. Give me something good. Give me something good for taking out this boss. I know it's an easy boss. I know. And yes, I am going to cheese it with magic. That's why I became an astrologer. That's, yeah. This is really, really good damage. I mean, whoa, watch the, watch that thrust. Yeah, already below half, and I haven't even had to use my Cerulean Flask yet. And now I can use it. Oh yeah, we're good. I mean, if we could get him to do the Fire Breath, that would be amazing. I could probably just finish him then. Please don't have a phase two. That would just be swell. Is this cheesy? Yeah. Am I worried about it? Not even a little. Is that it? Is that death? Is that an actual boss down? Hey! And new ashes. Noble sorcerer ashes. Great. Can I use them? <laughs> Probably not. That's another set of ashes. Well, I don't think I'm going to recommend people start with the fanged imps. But sure enough, summons noble spirit. Spirit of a nobleman who once asked to be given a place at Raya Lucaria to learn glintstone sorceries. That's the school that I have attended. You know, Silverius, rather. His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown, however, and he is only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. Well, I would love to have a sorcerer with me. And that's just return to entrance. Okay, so nice little short dungeon dive. Got a couple of summons, which is cool. Look at these roots, though. And just these bodies entwined inside of them. Anything else worth doing? No, I think that's it. Well, cool. I like it. Just a nice little, you know, side quest, if you will. But I just have all these things that I can't use, and I would love to use them. And I also have some runes I would love to spend, preferably on leveling up. Also, will I get... I need to go back to a Site of Grace. I probably should have just popped into the catacombs and done that. But if I go kill this group, will I get a flask back? Just like I did the first time? Okay, good. I'm worried about the torch. If they're anything like the torch hollows of old... Well, nope. They're, they're pretty, pretty safe. And you're just hiding. Will I get something back? No, I didn't. Well, now, why didn't I? I am not sure. Hmm, I was led to believe I would. 
have been led astray. All right, another ruined fragment. I should probably head back to the merchant and actually maybe spend some of these since I don't even have the ability to level just yet. Oh, all right. This pawn that has these weird eggs. They're not turtles. I thought they were turtles. Might be better off if they were turtles. Oh, you are disgusting. And you have a lot of health. You have scales, though. Okay, get out of the way in case it explodes. It didn't. Some sort of... It looks like an egg, but it's more like a... Like a parasite? What if I kick you? Oh, they do have a poison... Probably a poison spore cloud. Oh, and there's a mosquito? Actually, it doesn't even look like a mosquito. Oh, gosh, they are quick. That is unappreciated. Is that an... I wonder if that's a nest of these things? Oh, man. These actually are a lot more like Dobson flies than mosquitoes, but Dobson flies, the actual adults don't don't attack. The young, the Helgramites, yeah, that's something you don't want to get your toe caught in. Yeah, let's go rest. Let's go rest and then we'll follow the grace for a bit, or the guidance rather. Maybe spend some of these, these runes. Church of Ella. Weren't you, well, you're back. To buy something? Wasn't I what? Do you want to finish that thought? So, I can buy the telescope. Might as well. I can buy some crap. You know, I want to buy these. Flask of Wondrous Physic and Waypoint Runes. Let's do that. We'll take a look at those. Um, do I need... I only need 8 strength for that. I will actually trade out my shield for that one. Uh, Missionary's Cookbook might be a good idea. I mean, might as well, right? We have the runes. Well... I have runes for some of them. I could buy two of these, the nomadic cookbooks or the let's do let's do these two. Goodbye. And then let's take a look and see everything we just got. So Oh. This is from the, the cookbook. So invigorating cured meat temporarily boosts robustness. I don't even know what robustness is. But it is on there. By the way, if you don't know, I'm actually hitting the touchpad. And I'm going to the explanation so I can read about these. So, robustness is resistance to blood loss and frostbite. Okay. These both do that. White cured meat and cured meat. What else? Bone darts I had. Bone arrows. Bone arrows fletch. Bone bolts. Glowstone. Okay. Okay. Emits faint light from the location is placed. Not a lot there, huh? It's got to be said. Didn't give me a whole lot to go on. Oh, boy, I wish I could level up. But we can at least trade out the scripture wooden shield for the large leather shield. Which looks really cool. If you remember, <laughs> the large leather shield looks to used to look kind of like a chocolate chip cookie. And apparently no longer. Memory spell. Yeah, I wish... I mean... Okay, I was thinking maybe, maybe, maybe I just had to use one of the summons here. But no, it is. It goes on my hotbar. I just can't use it. Well. Guidance is leading me this way. I see an enemy off to the right. Let's go investigate him. That's too far, isn't it? Oh, just. Just too far. Would you just... Oh, you're not too bad. Okay, backstab fishing. Still a thing. Love to see it. A straight sword. Lord Sworn's straight sword. I am actually... Oh, and Lord Sworn's bolt. I love straight swords. And what do I need? Ten strength. That's only two levels, but I... I could... Can I two-hand it? Uh, unless we'll do it with both hands. I can two-hand it. I might do that. Because that should be some significant difference. So it's 115 versus 102. It's not that much. Higher critical, though. Higher critical. So as long as I remember to two-hand it, which I won't because it's 
complicated. <laughs> it's not complicated. It's one extra button push, and yet... Oh, there's a turtle! Oh my gosh, you're precious. Do you attack? I don't want to. Gold tinge ex... Did you... Did you poop gold? Okay. All you herpetologists uh, out there, square off. Wait a minute, what's square off? Oh! It's like the weapon skill... Please, no one judge. I love turtles so much. Also, because this is not a combative enemy, my stamina doesn't go down. That's kind of nice. Pillage corpse. <laughs> turtle neck meat. Oh gosh, that was not worth it. I am, I am truly sorry, turtle. I could probably be hunting for meat. Not too concerned about it. Man, it's almost worth just spamming triangle as you're running around the open field because there's so many materials to gather. How about a sneak attack on you? Nice. One shot, one kill. Anything? No? We got a boar. Cliff, I'm definitely not scaling on my own. Yep. I didn't actually mean to do that. That was a waste. My apologies, and I didn't get anything for it. So, yeah. Items from corpses. Definitely only a chance, and not a very... Not a very good chance, it seems. Ooh, got a whole encampment here. Did I, buy, I bought the telescope, right? Yeah, let's put that on our pouch here. So, let's see. Is that it, really? Okay. Some sort of monolith in the center. Probably could do something with that. Some roving guards. A couple of stationaries. There's a cart there. Okay. Ooh, polearm. Definitely will be taking out the polearms with magic. But I may just take on the other ones with good old-fashioned melee. Oh, almost killed. Alright, we're gonna switch. And... Beautiful. That's excellent. Love that skill. Alright, let's crouch around and see. I don't think anyone else has heard me yet. And there was someone... Gate front ruins. The question is... Nope, no one's gonna see me. I wish I would go back into crouch. If I attack from crouch... Whoa! <laughs> I would like to go back into crouch. Alright, let's try this. Ready? Beautiful. Does take some FP. That does take some FP, so... That's gonna be something to consider. Um, okay. Let's go back to... And get the repost. That is, that is just fantastic. I am so glad that dropped. I don't know if that's a guaranteed. I doubt it. And I'm thinking... Oh, Lost Sight of Grace should be up there. And that's probably where I'm going to be heading. According to the guidance. And... Oh, this is a large chest here. Got some people coming. What do we got? Lord Sword's... Lord Sword's Great Sword. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to use that, am I? But that's really cool. So the great sword, 136 damage. I didn't even take a look at this. Well-crafted trade sword with an illustrious design wielded by regulars of a lord's army. Doesn't say which lord. Uh, skill is stamped with an upward cut. Though blackened and damaged by years of use, it appears to have otherwise been kept in a serviceable condition, despite the soldiers having long since lost their minds. Similarly, this. But you have the square off skill. Follow up with a normal attack to slash upwards through the enemy's guard. So that's a guard break. And then the strong attack is a running thrust. What kind of strength do you need for this one? 16. That's not... It's not terrible. For a greatsword. It's not terrible at all. And anything further up with the carriage? No? Alright, well let's clear the rest of this camp though. I imagine there's probably some other goodies to be had. Um, we will sneak around though a little bit. This isn't so bad. Can probably... 
Uh, was that someone just practicing? Ooh, another uh, another carriage here. I wonder if there's another. I'm being I'm being hunted. Quick, 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 quick. That shouldn't have happened, but it did, and I am all about it. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that's excellent. And with the two-handed, I should be getting more guard breaks or just kind of poise breaks. Yeah, there's another chest here. All right, what uh, what else can I get? That guy looks a little more daunting right there, huh? And we get a flail. Like an actual honest-to-goodness bring me my flow. Oh my gosh, it's a spinning chain. That's what that's the move it has. It's a spinning chain. 10 strength, 18 dexterity. No. All right. And it does bleed build up. Bludgeoning head attached to a handle by a chain. It is an actual flail. Blows from this weapon cannot be parried. That's super good to know. Charge attack whirls the iron ball around for increased force. I know I can't use it, but can I see it? Oh my gosh, it actually it actually wibble wobbles. <gasps> beautiful absolutely beautiful oh man okay well i have i have something i want to i want to use i just need to get there yeah that one patrolling enemy looked a little a little tougher so we should probably run around and clear before we try and take him on oh look at this nice little road though kind of gives you an idea of where to be headed probably also I can get maybe one more shot off before I need to refill my FP. Let's just take this main gate and see, is there anyone else I can just sneak up on nice and easily? You're gonna be facing me, so that's gonna be a problem. You're not. Oh, that, there's an attack dog. Uh, tell you what, I kinda like the idea of this. Oh, I missed the dog. Oh, that didn't miss. Oh, you have a hammer. I like it. And I am loving Glintstone Arc. Okay, yep, that's fine. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm going to just try and take you out without healing. And there's another doggo. Definitely get the sh Ooh, if I get the shield out, I can't actually I can't actually attack with any respectable damage. Um Can you Yeah, let's just pebble it. Weak to magic, it seems, or just low defense in general. Some bolts, nothing to fire them with. And yeah, let's heal. I th think there's only maybe from what I've seen a Okay, don't let him see. That's definitely going to be the challenge here. Is that enemy right there? Oh, there's a uh, there's an underside to this little fort. Yeah, he saw me. He saw me. If I can guard break him though, I could probably get a nice a nice repose. Otherwise, he is just going to I think wipe the floor with me. Um, and oh, that wasn't that bad. It's got to be said, that wasn't that bad. Uh, that's not great. Oh! No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, he's not that strong. Can I break his... Oh, nice sidestep. Oh, no, 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 no. He can still shield during that. That's going to be an issue. And he has immense poise, it seems. Good. Jumping R2 for the win. Just kill him. Oh. Please. He didn't die. He. Oh, he just did a guard, a guard counter. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, I got very lucky. I have no healing left, but maybe if I kill... Oh, it's starting to rain. I love that. I love the dynamic weather. I think maybe I can afford, yeah, I can afford one more pebble. But maybe if I kill that one last enemy I saw, maybe I'll get a flashback, because 
this is uh this is not looking super good. Where'd he go? Oh right. Oh wait a minute. What are you? Okay. Let's get the back. Oh, this is the guy who probably would have sounded the alarm. Oh, and there's one more. Ah, oh, rats. Okay. And you didn't die. That's really unfortunate. Is there another one? Sounded like there's another one. Okay. And don't kill me, please. Give me a flask. Give me a flask. I got him back. I got all of them and a smithing stone. All right. I could level up my sword and I got my flask back. Didn't mean to do that. And what do we have here? A map of Limgrave. That was worth it. Oh, wowza. Okay. So it's just, you know, here's the grace guiding me. Sights of grace. I could put a marker. It's now late day. Oh, it's going to be uh, <laughs> going to be nightfall soon. <laughs> but there's also a downstairs. Do I want to go down? I mean, I have my flask back, right? So, of course I do. Now, that was... Oh, there's another item over here I missed. Look at these giant uh, sarcophagus, I guess, maybe? Rune fragments. Was it over? No, it wasn't over here. It must have been down... Right here. Okay. Ugh. Get my torch out just in case I need to see... Oh gosh, this this is a terrible idea. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe it's not that bad. Okay, not a mimic. Adding skills. Ash of War, Storm Stomp, and a Whetstone Knife. With a Whetstone Knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Greats. Hmm, an armament? An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armament's type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills that cannot be granted new ones. So I just got Storm Stomp, which I think is the one the Greatsword just had. Adding affinities. You can use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. Uh, you can boost attribute scaling and more. Wow. Some special armaments cannot be granted new affinities. Well, that... That was worth it. Is a whetstone knife a consumable, though? Or, let's see. Can I actually use them multiple times? So it's not under bolstering materials. Oh, these are, though. Oh, strength and renowned ashes. <gasps> so these glove warts actually strengthen my summons if I actually, you know... <laughs> can get around to it. So this is a key item. So it's not consumable. Can add new battle arts and affinities to weapon. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's super cool. All right, now I can learn here. So bone arrow, bone arrow, fletch, and bone bolt. Glowstone, invigorating cured, invigorating white cured. The, dom oh, what is it? Domain? Dom the domain of Limgrave, far south of the earth trees, bordered to the northwest by the cliffs of Stormvale, and under its ever-clouded skies roll the great steps of the Pale Lands. All right, definitely worth checking this camp out. Absolutely worth checking this camp out. And I want to say I've gotten everything, and there's a Sight of Grace up yonder. Oh, and Stormvale. Jeez. I don't know. Am I ready for Stormvale? There's no way I'm ready for Stormvale. I, 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 I just learned that maybe I can smith one time. And do I have to go back to the Church of Ella to smith? Probably. Which, I guess, fast travel makes that not a big deal. But let's take a look at the new abilities I just got, or the new options I, I just got at the Sight of Grace. Oh, wait a minute. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I, 
offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of maiden. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Ooh. So it sounds like she's how I'm going to be leveling up. I don't I don't dare refuse. I'm going to have to try that out later and see what that actually does, but no, we'll we'll accept. And it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. The Elden Ring? No, oh, Spectral Steed Whistle. That's the second best ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a Spectral Steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Okay, so we now have the ability to level up. We can use Ashes of War, and uh, we got uh, we got Tor, we got the mount. So let's see. So what did I? I could learn Storm Stomp on that. Of course, if I put it on the Great Sword, it wouldn't matter because that already has it. Uh, can't learn anything there. I prefer this the actual square off though. Nothing there, nothing there. So there's not much I can do just yet. Equipped. Oh, that's just equipped. That's why. So the Great Sword. Oh no, that's Stamp. This is Storm Stomp. So they can all learn Storm Stomp. That's that's kind of funny. So I have to find those ashes to use that whetstone, which is fine. That completely makes sense. I'm kind of thinking that I want to reallocate two and two from my flasks. And I can't add any more, but I can now level up. Can I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your I thoughts, wonder, okay, I can afford two right now. I wonder would if she's going to be with me at all times or if it's only certain sites of grace or certain times of day. Oh boy. Um, the longsword required ten strength. So I may do that just to open that up. But, oh, health would be nice, too. But I would like to one hand so I can use the shield as well. So let's do that. That would bring me down to 200. Definitely not enough to level up again, even if I use that other consumable. And she just disappears. Horseback riding. Wow. Use the Spectral Steed Whistle. So I'll probably have to put that in my pouch. If the Spectral Steed dies, you can summon again, but it will cost one Flask of Crimson, uh, Crimson Tears. So I didn't know Torn could get hurt. That's uh, that's interesting. And there, it's talking about the pouches, which we've already learned about. Let's go ahead and get the Spectral Steed right on there. Upon his death, the Spectral Steed can be summoned again. Are we already read that? So there's no lore behind Torrent? That seems crazy. Wait, can I now? I can now one-hand it, right? Good. Just want to make sure. And... And we just hop right on. And there we have it. We have Torrent. Oh, that's fantastic. And there's some devilish looking creatures out there in the night sky. But now that we've met Melina, we just cleared this camp, and it looks like we're just at the base, yeah, of Stormvale. Oh, there's a giant up there. Stormvale Castle, maybe, or we may have yet a ways to go. But that's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Elden Ring. Hope you're still enjoying I hope you've gotten a chance to try out this incredible game. It's only going to get better and better from here. But thank you all so much for watching. Can I jester from the horse? I can't. But uh, Torn and I will see you next time.